Right then, I'm going to carry on. That's the big mound of Marrow Hill. Leaving behind Triscum now. Crocombe's over there. Another avenue of trees that would take you... Actually, I don't reckon that's Beacon Hill. I think that's probably Thorncombe Hill over there. Beacon Hill is even further over. I've been down here before. And I pet. Yeah, because we've got um, more woods, which is uh, leading up to Crocom, because Crocom's down there. Yeah, I'm got, well, there was probably a nice little track that led there, but nah, leave it today. Following me, you see that bloke? There's a bloke up there. He's got enough rush to get to the top. Bloke with a bald head. He did have that on at one stage. Quite a big rotund bloke. He had, looked like he had a map. He obviously wanted to get up there. Right, so what I'm going to do, I can go either way. I think I'll go straight over the top actually, even though I know I can go that way as well. I'm going to go straight over the top today. Well, like I say, I have done it before and it will be on other videos. It is good to come back because I, I started exploring. It's only been over the past sort of seven, eight years I really started to explore the Quantox properly once I had Alberta. I've been out here over the years, of course I have. But I decided to really start exploring. I wanted to really start exploring. See, there's another path there that you can go. They're everywhere, actually. I'm going straight up the middle. Look at that lovely scene now, isn't it? Lovely scene, isn't it? Right, over and out. Oh, right. I might not go up there. I don't really feel like doing a big hill. There are still hills to do, you see. I think there's a trek down there and I can make my way to a gate and get back under a bit of cover. But I know the cows, the horned cows might be down that section there. So we'll just see what happens. They might even be down there sheltering. They're about though, says so cow pack. But I feel like getting back in with the trees. It's looking a bit dodgy, the weather actually, as well. And I've done that hill. That has been done. So I'm out on the Quantox. I'm soaking it up, loves. It's gorgeous. Do you know what I mean? There was another track. I would have come out of that one if I'd uh, gone the other way. But we're going to go down now, but I don't fancy going up there. I'm hoping there is a track going up. I can't remember. I can't remember. And I could bump into the cows down here. They could be under the trees. I can't remember. But there's no panic. We've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. We can just... But the weather's weird. One minute it's quite hot. And then it looks thundery. Then it looks like it could rain. Oh. But we're having a nice gentle walk. Nice and My feet are, seem to be drying out really well. They're wet as well. Because the atmosphere is damp. But they don't feel wet. They were squelchy earlier. But I have been up there. I've done all that. I've been on the very top where those twigs are as well. 
And there's a path that leads down from there to a gate. Um, and you, that's at um, Cro Croken Park Gate. If you go up there and across, that's where you'll go. I might do it yet, I haven't decided. There's paths everywhere. There's paths everywhere, but I just can't decide. Oh, do I really want to go down? Why don't you just turn up there, but then you might walk right into them cows. There might be a path down the bottom shell. Why don't you do that? I'm not quite sure where the cows are. I don't want to walk straight into them. I don't fancy going up that, but I have done it. In fact, the last time I'd done this walk, I went up that. Because I certainly won't fancy coming back up there. I've done quite a lot of climbing. And there's still hills to do. There's Black Hill to climb yet. That is very, very gentle compared to these steep ones. And because I've done this end of the... Not all of it, of course, but I've done quite a bit of this end. I can come out on shorter... I can always use Bicknoller as my base and come out and branch out a bit but and always be able to get back to Bicknoller for the bus. I don't like West Bagborough. It's a very, very dangerous bus stop there. I'm not even sure if they stop to pick you up there on the way back. There is no sign of a bus stop. Nothing. I can just see them going whizzing past you. It's a proper bus stop at Bicknoller. That's what I like. There's also a pub. There's a church. There's stuff right near you, you know, if you if you want the shelter or <sighs> I am enjoying this folks and it'd be interesting to hear what the conversation was <clears throat> when I last did this because it might not have been four years ago, it could have been three years ago I done it, or it could have been five years ago. This particular walk. It wasn't necessary part of the West Bagra bit. See what I mean? I was doing all sorts of walks. Um, exploring a lot. I did a lot once my sister died, actually. So the past four years, I have... Three years, actually. I have been doing a lot. But, of course, then I haven't got Alberta. It hasn't been so easy for me to get out. But I know in 2019, I did every single month out here. I made sure, sometimes twice a month, I made sure I got out here every, at least once a month. That was my mission in 2019. Right up until I lost Alberta in 2020. She uh, had to go. Right, I'm, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. I think it's more likely I'm going to go up that way because the weather's looking a bit weird. But I got a feeling the cows could be up there as well. So I am a little bit worried which side of the fence to be on. <laughs> I think I'll cross. I don't even know if you can go in there. Yeah, of course you can. There's a sign. Is it a greenway? Yeah, I don't fancy climbing up. And I reckon the cows might be up there. Let's have a look. It's an old drove, isn't it? And it goes right round, like that. But they could be there. I ain't quite sure which side they're on. So, there's barbed wire. They could be, see, for all I know. They could be on this side, but there was a cow pack was that side, wasn't it? Oh. Let's go up there and hope for the best. I'm just going to have a little rest. This is Sheila. It's gone a bit dull. Oh. I don't want to do it I've got to go uphill. Bag's really heavy today. I'm going to go.
go up there and join the avenue of trees to get some sort of shade. But I don't know which side the cows are on, that's trouble. I could get up there and bump right into them. But I if I go on that side, I really don't know at the moment. I'm going to have to play it by ear, I think. And risk going that way. We're doing well, folks. Yes, we're doing really well. Honestly, it's four hours, but it's dead on 12. Four hours. You think, God, where's the time? Why does it take so long? But I've done a lot of walking. I've done a lot of walking. And there's more walking to do yet. There's another four hours to go, at least. If not five, depends what I do. I might not do Paradise Coombe today because I don't want to rush that bit. Um, I would like, prefer to come over another time. Look, oh, cow pack. I would prefer to come over another time. I'm a bit worried about doing this bit. And uh, take my time doing those sort of areas over there near Bicknoller. Yeah. If I get up close and see the cows, I'm coming back here. I'm coming back. Because I might, I might get trapped. They do have a bull. <coughs> and calves. Oh. oh, God. Oh. But there's fresh barbed wire. You can't even get over quick. And I think they're in. They're more likely to be inside. Oh, I don't know. It's all up and down, isn't it? Oh. Just take your time. Because the thing is, if I went up that side and they were all under those trees, I'd be stuck, wouldn't I? I might get up here and can't get out. That's the other thing. Might be barbed wire all the way around and I can't get out at the top there. I don't know yet. But at least, if I have to come back down for safety reasons, it'll be downhill. Now, I did should remember what I'd done, because I did all that hill before, and I wandered all round here before, but I just can't remember about the cows being a threat to me or anything. Right, I'm going to turn off for a while. I'll get up. I'll come back home when I get to the top, over and out. Oh. Oh. That's okay. All right, no obvious signs of the cows, but there is fresh cow back over there. Not that old. And here, just in case it didn't turn out that other video, this is their, um, <coughs> they like to waddle and waddle and paddle and... <sighs> Last time I saw them, of course, they, the other week, they were right down the wood, the, down the bottom there in the shade. But uh, they haven't long been here because, unless they've gone in that direction, of course, because there's very, very fresh cobalt, look. That is very, very fresh. They haven't long been around here at all. So I, I think they've probably gone down there, deeper into the wood, lying down in the coal. They would have done a little bit of roaming. So uh, we're back on the Macmillan Way now. Sun's out. Yeah, it's the Macmillan Way. I was here three weeks ago. I climbed up on those banks to see the cows, the long-horned, hairy cows, and I came through here. So it's a bit of deja vu. I had um, planned more, but um, I just thought I need to cool off a little bit. And uh, there's no one about. It looks really nice. 
Um, so I thought I'd just carry on walking along here, tell the truth, and now. Um, it is going to be a bit of deja vu, but I won't go swooping round Thorncombe Hill this time. I'm going to carry on over the top after Black Hill. I uh, might, I haven't decided actually whether I'm going to do Hurley Hill. Um, it's something, there is time to walk round it. There is time, so there's a possibility I might allow myself to do that hill. Yes, yeah, a bit cooler now. I just didn't fancy doing a, another big hill right away. You know, and I've done that one before, that one. No, I didn't, I really didn't fancy it. So this is the point where I came up about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour ago. I came up through there. Um, I didn't fancy going right the way over, so I would have been over there by now, of course. I just fancied coming here, actually. I just, just fancied it. <sighs> I'd already done, like, two massive hills. So... It's times like this when I know my Jude walked here, my sister. I know she would have walked here with her friends or with Stuart and the children even. Of course, not forgetting the children. Uh, she absolutely loved the hills. Absolutely loved them. When I went to see her, she had her walking boots on. She had a lovely bouquet made flowers made into the shape of walking boots on her little basket as well. Somebody else coming now with a map. Right, over and out, we took a picture.